everyone, welcome back to Measure & Mix. Today I'm going to be making some Christmas Dollar Tree DIYs. These are all Pottery Barn inspired. If you are new to my channel, welcome. If you like home decor and DIYs, stick around by hitting the subscribe button and don't forget to ring that bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. Now let's get started. For the first Pottery Barn dupe, I'm going to be making one of these plaid reindeers. A medium sized one costs around $39.50 and I thought I could recreate it for a lot less from Dollar Tree items. So I'm going to be using one of these fleece scarfs from Dollar Tree. I am just going to leave it folded in half and then I am going to take this reindeer that I got from Dollar Tree last year and it's perfect size to use as a template for tracing out the body of my reindeer. You could freehand this if you were confident, um, but I wasn't, so I'm just gonna use this template and trace it out with a piece of chalk. And I'm gonna leave the legs, the tail, and the antlers and the ears out of this because I'm gonna create those from something else. Now I'm just gonna cut out my reindeer body. And once that is all cut out, I just am going to round off the head a little bit at the top because it is a little bit too square. And then I have two pieces of fabric on top of each other. Now there's no right side or wrong side of this fabric, it's both the same. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hot glue the seams together. And I'm gonna leave an opening so that way, um, once it's all glued together, I can flip this right side in. So that way I have more of a finished seam look. Now that it's all flipped around, I'm gonna just take some stuffing from an old pillow and I'm just going to go ahead and fill my reindeer body up with that. To finish it off, I just hot glued the opening on his bottom together. Now for the ears, I'm gonna take the extra piece of fabric that is folded over and I'm just going to trace out two ear shapes, kind of like a rounded triangle. And then I'm just gonna cut those two pieces out. Now I'm just gonna unfold the ears and trim them up if I need to. And then I'm just gonna hot glue the two uh, pieces, the folded part together to the other side. I was going to stuff these, but it was just a little too small to be that detailed. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take one of the ears and I'm gonna fold it in half, and then at that crease, I'm gonna put a little dot of hot glue, and make sure you hold it there for a second to um, make sure it stays in place. And then I'm gonna flip the ears over and then take the two edges and fold those inwards and add a little dab of hot glue in the creases there. And then that way that kind of just gives me more of like a solid 3D ear shape. So I did the same thing to the other ear and I think the ears are super cute on this reindeer. Next thing that I did was just take some hot glue and attach the ears to each side of the reindeer's head. Now for the legs, I'm gonna use four of these wooden dowels from Dollar Tree. Mine are from a previous project that had some moss on it, so they're stained green, but I'll fix that later. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut a tiny hole into the front of the reindeer where one of the legs would be at. And then I'm just gonna add some hot glue and stick that leg inside that hole. And then I just did that for the other leg on the front and then the same thing for the back two legs on each side. So for the reindeer's tail, I'm gonna use a pine cone that I just found in my stash from last year's Christmas Dollar Tree items. I'm just gonna hot glue it to the reindeer's bottom. I actually switched this out and you will see that for a different pine cone. 
For the reindeer scarf, I'm gonna use this black burlap that I already had. If you didn't have black burlap, you could use a ribbon from Dollar Tree or another scarf from Dollar Tree. Just get creative. I just cut a strip of the burlap off and I'm wrapping it around the neck of the reindeer, just crisscrossing it and hot gluing it in the center and cutting off the excess burlap. To cover up some of the hot glue in the center of the scarf, I'm gonna use one of these Christmas floral picks that I had from last year. And I just cut some of the floral off and some of these berries off that I had. And I'm just gonna hot glue it in the center and that'll just kind of finish this off nicely. Now I had two of the same Christmas picks from Dollar Tree last year. So this is actually where I got the pine cone to replace the other pine cone for its tail. I just liked this pine cone better. Um, it, but it also had two glittery branches on there that I liked for his antlers. So I did the same thing that I did with the legs. I just cut a little slit behind the ears um, for both of the antlers to fit in and hot glued those down. So the last thing I'm gonna do is stain the legs in some Briar Smoke stain. And I should have done this in the beginning, but I wasn't sure I was going to do this until the end. Um, and I love how this reindeer turned out. He's so cute and it would only cost you about five or six dollars to recreate this. So a lot less than the Pottery Barn one. For the second Pottery Barn dupe, I am going to be trying to recreate these pre-lit faux alpine trees that come in a set of three for $149. This one might be a little bit of a reach, but I'm gonna try my best here. You guys can let me know how I do in the comments below. I'm gonna use three of these tabletop Christmas trees from Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna remove the base and set the stand aside and use those later. And I'm gonna take all three of the trees out of the box and I'm going to fluff the branches out, but I'm gonna turn them downward. And to me, that kind of looks like one of these alpine trees when you turn the branches downward. And the alpine trees are a little more sparse than a regular spruce, blue spruce Christmas tree. So I think that these will work out to my advantage. Now, I don't think the Pottery Barn trees are snow covered, but I'm gonna go ahead and give my trees a little dusting of snow with some of this flat white spray paint. I'm just gonna kind of sporadically spray it on to the trees to make it look like they are snow covered. And I think this just kind of fills up the tree a little bit more. It makes them stand out just a little bit more as well. Okay, so for the tree trunks, I'm gonna be using two paper towel roll holders and a toilet paper roll holder. I cut one of the paper towel roll holders in half, so they were three different sizes. And I'm going to cover each one of these in some of the wood-looking contact paper from Dollar Tree. And this is where I'm kinda like, I don't know if this worked out or not. I'm not sure I like this part but this is all I could think of right now. Um, and I didn't have any brown paint to paint these, so I, maybe it would have looked better if I painted them, I don't know. But um, I just cut off the excess contact paper and made sure it was even at the top and the bottom. And then I'm gonna attach the toilet paper roll holder and the paper towel roll holders to the Christmas tree stands that come with the Christmas trees. So for that, I'm just placing it on top of the stand and then where the legs are, I'm cutting two slits and lifting that slit up so it sits down right onto the leg of the stand. And I'm gonna do that on the other two legs as well. Then I just hot glued the paper towel roll holder down to the stand. To attach the tree to the trunk, I just added some hot glue to the top of it and then inserted the tree inside the trunk and held it there until it was secure. 
For the lights, I'm using this long strand of battery operated fairy lights that I got at like Target or Meyer last year because I couldn't find my fairy lights from Dollar Tree. So I just continuously wrapped the whole strand around all three of the trees. So that is it. This would cost you about $7 from Dollar Tree to make. Um, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any other ideas for a tree trunk because I'm not really sure I like how the trunks turned out. The last Pottery Barn dupe are these cute little galvanized Christmas Village stocking holders for $29.50 and $39.50. So I'm going to be using two of these little Christmas Village candle holders from Dollar Tree that I got last year. Now mine's going to be purely decorative. I'm not going to put anything inside the stocking because it will fall over. But I am going to go ahead and galvanize these by using some metallic aluminum spray paint and spraying them with a coat of that all over. And then while it's still wet, I'm going to come back with this matte hammered spray paint and I'm just going to spritz each one all around it. And then I'm just going to layer both of those spray paints till I get a galvanized metal look. The last step, I'm going to take two of these hooks that I already had and I'm going to drill a tiny hole into each one of these houses on the front and screw the hooks into place. Now if you didn't have these hooks, you could use the ones from Dollar Tree and glue them to the front of your houses. You can make a ton of these houses to put on top of your mantle for a lot less than what two of these cost from Pottery Barn. for watching today. I hope you enjoyed these DIYs. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to have that bell rung so you don't miss out on any new videos. I have a video coming out on Friday to invite my fellow YouTube friends to two open challenges that I am co-hosting with a couple of my friends here on YouTube for the month of November. They are Christmas related. And then on Saturday, I am collaborating with a few other ladies here on YouTube to bring you guys some Christmas Dollar Tree DIYs. So I'm super excited about both of those. So I will see you guys then. Take care. Bye-bye.